Welcome to NarrowChin.com. All right, today I'm going to be doing a video, uh, sort of a request uh, to actually test out some of the tablets I had done previously for some drawing tests, but actually to do something with a ruler. Uh, and I have a clear one right here. And basically, the the this is kind of a, a continuation with the testing uh, on the various styluses and uh, the digitizers and how well they react. Ultimately, what it comes down to is this test is is going to be testing how well. Uh, the jitter level uh, on the pointers are. Now, granted, I'll just preface this by the, saying that a lot of software out there has have, uh, matured enough that there is uh, finite settings you can you can change to tweak uh, any jitterness that would show up. But this will be a good test to, to continue um, looking at uh, what the statuses are. So first things first, we'll go take a look at my, uh, my old Asus EP121 slate. And uh, let's see how well it performs here. So I'll pop the default styles that it has out here i'll place the ruler on here so what i'm going to do is basically from here i will uh let's see i'll just choose red and i'll choose the pencil tool and we'll just do some draw some lines so first things first you see so whoops i can hold it straight actually i'm going to pause it for a minute i'm going to try to reposition the the camera so it's a little bit more overhead so we can get a more stable view so hang on, be right back. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at, uh, once again, I have the EP121 positioned, and we'll start drawing some lines. Oops, there we go. This is pretty good so far. I'm going to go slow. I'll choose a different color this time. I'll just go with the, the blue color. It's hard to keep my little blue straight. I'm trying not to, to uh, I'm trying not to shift the. Uh, I'm not trying to not try to touch things at the same time. I'll try to keep it even even pressure too, because once again, this is pressure sensitive. So you can see, it's still detecting some of my. If I go, no, quicker it goes, keeps up quite nicely. I'll choose different colors. I'll choose how about a dark green. So that's partly my, my ruler slipping across the screen there. So there's a ruler test with my EP121. Let's move on to some other ones. Okay, so now here is my Samsung Galaxy Note Pro. Let's pull, pull the default stylus out here get that uh, thing away all right so let's uh, let's do some drawing all right so i'll choose a nice red color here and i'll just stick with the pencil here's my ruler put it down the screen like so so we can do It goes slow. Funny thing is, I never, never tried doing this before, but the the ruler has a hard time staying on this surface because it's kind of slippery. All right. Doesn't seem too bad. A different color here. Let's we'll use uh, go back to the blue color here. All right, same tool. Now, 
my ruler shifting. I apologize. Let's see if I can hold it further down. It's kind of funny. The ruler just wants to move around. And same type of test. I'll go with the green color this time. Dark green. Move the tablet down a little bit. I'll go slow. So, so that so seems like it works quite quite nicely. But there there you have a, a slow and quick uh, drawing with the default stylus that comes with the Note Pro twelve point two, and we'll go and move to the next devices. Okay, so we have my Surface Pro one. Uh, once again, this is just using Sketchbook Pro. Uh, I've been using Sketchbook Pro with all of them, and so here's my ruler test, and we'll pick a red color just as we did before. Stay with the standard pencil tool and let's see what we can do. So we'll go, the, we'll go this way. Actually, I'm going to use the pen tool actually might be better should have done that from our previous test sorry about that part of it might be my let's just try to eat. so it's interesting with this you notice that my pointer is actually floating a little bit, so those lines are not as straight. It's kind of interesting. I didn't realize that until now. Interesting. So, so I'm kind of slow here. I'll do some fast ones. All right, let's go with the blue color or a bluish color. All right, go from this side. My tip flew over the top of the ruler there for a moment, kind of drifted over the lip of the ruler there. So, now let's make sure I'm gonna. All right, let's make sure that's the smallest one I can get. So, let's go with the green color. Just gonna go along with what I had before, leather tests. Well, something that that you know, you're gonna notice with uh, the uh, the Wacom ones is that um, you know depending on how you position the pen it might actually affect the way the the magnet is uh, detected on the surface of the of the tablet. So that was, so that's what I had before. I flipped it this way. My norm was, was calibrated this way. That's where it looked kind of weird. So I'll, I'll draw them going down this way. Or that may not may not matter that much. Okay, so, so hopefully that was helpful to look at the Surface Pro 1 there. All right, so I'm going to move on to my last one, my Surface Pro 2. All right, so here is my Surface Pro 3. 
Uh, let's see how well this works out. So I'm going to go back and choose the pen tool again. Choose a red color as well. And make sure the brush size is as small as possible. All right, so we'll start going this way again. I'll move these out of the way. Hang on a second. Oops, hang on. Gotta move these things out of the way here. Here we go. So, all right, here we go. So let's try that. Okay, oh, so way. here is my Surface Pro 3. Um, let's take a look at what it does now. So basically I had the pen tool selected in Surface, uh, in Sketchbook Pro 7 here, red color palette. Uh, I have uh, the smoothness settings all turned off. So it's gonna be basically just me with my pen here. So let's see how well this works. So I'll start drawing some lines. Once again, this is tricky because the surface of this thing is actually quite slippery. So I'm actually kind of fighting to keep it on the page <laughs> while I'm pressing pressure towards the, the ruler there. So I thought the opacity set low. No. My soul is, uh, I'm not putting the pressure down, so that's why. Well, let's try this in here. A little pressure down. So there's that. Let's go with uh, that same bluish color I had before on this side. And you notice uh, that there is a bit more jitter on the intrigue as I'm kind of kind of going over the ruler. So you notice it's kind of kind of squiggly. I don't know if you can notice that, but it's kind of squiggly. Interesting. Uh, it's kind of a good test to do. So I hadn't realized that this would be the be happening. Ah, uh, hang on. I'll try this again. So the intrigue seems to have a bit of a hard, harder time trying to keep a straight line here. I'm trying to think of that. It's a smooth edge. So I don't want it squiggling like that. I'm going to go this way real quick. I, hadn't, I didn't rehearse this before. So you know, you're kind of seeing it as I'm doing it for the first time myself here. So it's interesting how much more wavy the line is i don't know if you can really see that from where you, from this vantage point so that's kind of interesting so i hadn't thought i didn't realize I would, i'd be running into this because i well i never tried doing this test before so let's try doing it on the top side here with the green color Uh, going quick seems to be less of a problem. The problem is I'm fighting, I'm fighting the ruler. It slides around. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do this test again with one of those rulers with the, with the rubberized uh, with the cork bottom so it doesn't slip around so much. But, oh, geez, I, know, I hope you found this useful. Um, if I didn't explain this right, I can try doing this again. Um, but, you know, uh, please let me know uh, if this was useful or wasn't useful or if it needed to be more closer up for you to see uh, see this. Uh, but uh, from what I've seen so far, it's interesting that the jiggle is a bit worse on the Surface Pro 3 than I would expect it to be. Um, so, well, you know, please, uh, you know, email me, send me comments and feedback uh, if you want to see more of this, closer view of this, or if there's anything, anything else in particular about using these styluses on these various devices I own. So, once again, if you have a chance, please subscribe, send me feedback. Uh, you know, the, the, I, I thrive on trying to get this thing, doing my, what I can to answer your questions. So thank you for watching and uh, subscribe, send me some feedback. Thanks.